back to the channel hope you guys had a great weekend this is kelly from house of virgo if you're new please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading you can also become a member of my channel and pop in the live streams on sundays to get free mini readings with me keep in mind this is a general singles reading so some of the messages may or may not be for you this is a channel for virgo sun moon rising and venus but all signs are welcome all right virgo let's get into this reading and for the singles see what your messages are here starting out okay virgo let's see already your cards falling here okay you've got enjoying the holiday bliss of enjoying the bliss of holiday time together with friends family um while you're in separation from someone okay so you're obviously not in connection with anyone and you're waiting for the right one so i feel like going forward um this is a time for you to spend time with others and people places and things doing things um while divine timing is at work in your love life at this time okay um go out and enjoy the holiday birthdays trips vacations um while you are apart from someone in particular or just in your single season okay let's see who will be coming towards you or who may be coming towards you or what may be coming towards you okay we've got the page of pentacles so looks like there is going to be some news that's going to get you out of a difficult situation i do feel like someone will be reaching out to you though let's see if we can get any court cards okay someone is really stressed right now okay very stressed high anxiety needs to cut through um the situation needs to talk okay so there is there is an energy of a of i can't give you a person just yet but i will say there is an energy of somebody is thinking they have you on a pedestal or they will okay um and it's driving them nuts and i feel like this person is thinking about how to approach they have to talk to you clear the air give some type of um communication to you overcome some problems and obstacles okay this is someone who um i feel like is having a light bulb moment about self-sabotaging or playing the victim and it's backfiring on this person okay so here we go the king of wands okay so there's the king of wands coming towards you um male or female energy masculine feminine it's aries leo sagittarius okay coming towards you it's going to initiate communication with you in may and definitely hoping to either date you or um go do something fun with you or have some type of um reunion reunite with you okay let's see what else can you tell us all right so yeah i feel like this king of wands feels as if virgo is like a wish come true for them and i know you guys hear that all the time and i say that in the sense where this is fulfillment emotional fulfillment if it's not a wish come true so th there is definitely some communication coming towards you from somebody um who's really stressed and needs to talk to you okay um yeah it looks like somebody wants to um make a love offer of some sort oh here's the ace of cups and the knight of wands okay the queen of wands there's a match ace of wands and the page of cups and the ace of pentacles these cards like i'm not even kidding there's definitely i'm gonna say in may there is going to be because all these cards are magnificent they're all great I just feel like there's somebody here that you might be in separation from or that you haven't met yet who's going through a separation they're really struggling and stressed and this person you may meet them and this person is hitting rock bottom just about before they collapse this person i feel like divine timing is at work here in your love life and i feel like there is a fire sign who is coming either into your life or coming back into your life to move things forward with you okay that you may connect with this person in may okay i just want to get a little more information about this 
connection. Oh, it's a soulmate connection and union. Yeah, absolutely. This isn't some kind of karmic thing. Um, this is this is definitely a soulmate coming in. Okay, and it's interesting because in this card they kind of give you like two flames. So great connection, serious relationship, marriage, and partnership. Okay. So when I say King of Wands, I um, almost said Libra, so it could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. They could have that in their chart anywhere. It could be their rising. It could be in their Venus, their Mars, whichever it is. Um, it could be their sun sign. But there is someone who um, I do feel like is going to propose or make an offer about long term. Uh, you're going to get a text or a phone call. You might meet this person online. Okay, definitely. Um, if you're if you're someone who is online, a connection there. Okay, or if you know this person, um, there's a text or a phone call coming in, um, and I'm hearing something to do with hey, listen. Um, if you know them, it's a can we talk. If you don't know them, this is like an initiation type of. Um, they send the first message or they initiate. They make the first move. Okay, um, there's a little something to do about a trip as well, a new, uh, an idea, this person, um, connecting with you during some kind of, um, and Virgo, I just kind of see you doing your own thing, spending time separating yourself from the focus of love or, or with a particular person or just in general, and I feel like that's kind of like divine timing brings it to you, okay, um, and I do kind of feel like you'll look at the text or communication like, hmm, what's this about? Yeah. <laughs> Virgo. Um, let me see. I just want to get messages of love here to see what this is going to be about. I mean, this these messages are so direct that I don't even think we're going to get into like uh, even make it to 20 minutes here. All right, now they're giving me twin flame. So there is some type of divine connection where it's a twin flame, and but it feels like a soulmate, or it's a soulmate and it feels like a twin flame. It doesn't. So I feel like this twin, if you had a twin flame connection, you meet your twin flame, there's, there's always an energy of um, going through really hard lessons. It doesn't mean that... Um, Like a karmic twin flame is always abusive. I don't have devil energy here. But the twin flame relationship is like inspires growth. And I did see spiritual growth over here, but I didn't um, pull the card. I saw it at the bottom. There it is. Yeah. So learning and expanding the soul. So there is some kind of connection here. Um, I feel like two people were meant to come together, but there's boundaries here with the twin flame connection. Some of you might have a twin flame that's not healthy and you need to put up boundaries with them as well. It could be somebody else, like a separate that you need to release from. Okay, that's just, that's like a separate message so you can connect with your true soulmate. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, yeah. You and the twin flame are on different pages just didn't have the same vision even though it was divine you may have learned something um had some pretty hardcore lessons um but it doesn't mean that you are meant to be together sometimes those twin flames don't come together into another lifetime but you you are always connected forever and ever so but here on earth <laughs> um you want to ease the burden sometimes of the twin flame and connect with that soulmate you know what i mean uh, because you're only here for a short time. Why suffer? Okay, balance. One person giving too much in the relationship. So you or another person um, need to be patient and go slow with your twin flame, with your um, your soulmate. I feel like um, what you need to awaken to at this time, Virgo, as far as maybe a past relationship or something that was very difficult here. Um, there's definitely spiritual transformation happening, but also part of your spiritual awakening is um, learning about giving and receiving. Okay, it, when one person is giving too much, that means they're constantly in action of giving, giving, and giving, and then there's no room to be receiving. Sometimes we have to stop giving in order to be um, 
positioned to receive. Do you understand? And that means to stop. Um, so if you spend all day watering your flowers and don't take the time to stop watering and receive the growth and the beauty that, that is being presented to you from all of your giving, then you will drown your flowers. <laughs> you have to stop. So I feel like and that can go for other people as well. People who are over givers tend not to want to receive anything in return. Um, and sometimes they give so much hoping to receive that they never do because the other person is too busy with their hands receiving what they're giving. Does that make sense? This is about balance. This is about yin and yang have to cooperate, work together, coexist. Um, as a strong message for somebody okay fate you've got a destined partnership here coming towards you definitely in may definitely um and i'm picking up this strong energy with this king of wands masculine or feminine of course this king of wands i feel like there's something here about this person that um okay so th th these are two mes messages when i get the new love card a new commitment I'm sorry, a new love coming towards you or a recommitment to love is developing. So you got to take this. If you don't have a queen, king of wands from your past, um, this is somebody new coming in. Okay. If you have a king of wands from your past, this is a recommitment to this relationship developing as you being a single person in separation from someone specific or just not having anyone at all and separating yourself from love, waiting for love to I don't want to say love to come in but waiting for a person uh, for spirit to bring you somebody okay um, so there's a faded partnership here there's destiny here and it feels like Virgo during your single season during this time your energy here is to focus on um, yourself to cultivate that loving relationship with yourself during this time And what does that mean for you, Virgo? A lot of people don't like to be alone. Um, they have to have a partner. They have to have someone, a particular person. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if there's no relationship with self, how can there be a relationship with another person? Okay. Um, fill yourself up with people who are important to you. Not romantically, but people... because. There is love with friends and family and people who are good, you know, that your soul tribe, your support group, okay? Um, but to not hide within those people in order to avoid love as well, okay? Um, so you've got the King of Swords here. What's going on? This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? So you've got someone here who's got some serious addictions, and that could be someone connected to you as a single person. They have some very serious addictions. But it looks like they're going to overcome them. They're recovering. They're recovering from this devil energy. Um, they're in the process for sure. This person suffers from codependency as well. Um, very needy. Very unsta unstable. Um, suffering from a, a insecurity or a lack of security very reckless type of person who's kind of it looks like they're they're maybe reckless with their money their finances um their stability whatever it is as a, uh, you know very codependent behavior and very needy it looks like this person is recovering from this <clears throat> there's light at the end of the tunnel improving their behaviors, uh, letting go of negativity, um, becoming better and uh, just getting better is what I see here. Okay. Huh. Opening up to new opportunities that are coming. Let me see. Oh, somebody's coming in to apologize to you for something also. Yeah, there's going to be an apology 
to have progress, move things forward, seizing an opportunity. Um, I feel like someone here is recovering for something from something that was detrimental to a relationship. And it looks to me like this person's going to be making amends. Uh, maybe not just to you, but to others, but to themselves as all, as well, I mean, for, um, for things that happened in their childhood that they projected onto you, I just heard. Okay. Oh, something, some kind of issue with a father as well. Uh, maybe in their childhood. Also, um, for someone, apology for their lack of um, control or being an absent parent um, or someone being very stubborn and kind of with a nasty ego trying to have things their way all the time. Um, yeah, this person had like a spiritual um, or like some kind of evil badge on them or something that they wore with pride. And uh, there's like some kind of a slow awakening that's happening to somebody here. And I feel like it's happening to you as well. Um, this person is getting, and you might too, be getting some kind of revelation in your dreams to people. Um, kind of questioning, like, what were these, what are these dreams that I'm having? Oh, Wow. There's that reciprocity card. Um, I feel like somebody here is coming. All right. So Virgo, if you have abandoned a relationship in your past and walked away, it affected somebody. And, and or if someone did that to you, it's affected you. Some of you might feel like you gave and you gave and you gave to a relationship and you really didn't get anything back. Um, somebody walked away from you and after all you gave, so I don't feel like you're feeling sorry for yourself, but I feel like you're kind of like feeling like maybe you gave too much. Maybe it was you who was giving too much. You're definitely learning a lot of lessons here. You might have not, you might have been giving as a form of control um, so that you, because you didn't feel worthy enough to receive. I don't know who that message is for. That was just something that came to me that they just said. And to take a look at that. Sometimes um, one of the trauma responses can be um, fawning. Well, it is a trauma response. Some people have fight, flight, um, freeze and then there's fawn and fawning is where we give and give and give and seek to uh approve and and just over giving it's it's a tr it can be a trauma response i don't know if a lot of people know about that but you can look it up um we do that in order to feel accepted and to feel loved and and because maybe at some point we 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 weren't we were taught that if we appease or we please people it's a people pleasing trauma response and we're taught that if we please others and make them happy then they'll be happy with us and they'll accept us and that is um not healthy at all okay um it's almost like a martyrdom kind of thing um and sometimes we could do it to people who aren't deserving of that so i feel like there's a i don't know why this is coming up but i feel like if you relate to that 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 you um felt like when somebody walked away or abandoned you that if you just gave more to that person or did more you might be thinking to yourself also did I give enough did I give enough your trauma response is something that you as a single person in separation need to address okay um, because as Bruce Lee once said I was not put on this earth to live up to your expectations, and you weren't put on this earth to live up to mine. <laughs> At least I think he said that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I feel like there's something here, and this is just a very strange message coming out. Okay, so, 
you have the five of pentacles in the re in the reverse here so the end of hardship and positive change coming toward you once you begin addressing some type of yeah people pleasing in regards to an abusive relationship or something that wasn't healthy as a single person as you take this time out for yourself in your life whatever you're doing and get into that recovery start looking up or start if you haven't already um your responses to um behavior from others who were aggressive or bullying towards you um a, a people pleasing or a fawning kind of trauma response and i know that might not be all of you but yeah some type of argument or heartbreak there's something there's a message here for you to take a look at that that's that's what i'm picking up or someone else needs to take a look at how they how they were dealing with conflict some people get in the ring and fight back and fight um and so are to cause conflicts to get attention some people take flight and they run away from it some people freeze and they don't know what to do and other people will people please so that there won't be conflict or fighting and conflict is a natural um thing that we do between humans um hardcore conflict no um causing conflict no but we can have disagreements we can have um some we have struggles sometimes with each other it's totally okay you know um but extreme chaos and um ego and temper tantrums um and extreme battles and struggles are not an extreme fighting everything in, in the extreme is no good okay um hmm okay this is a very interest, interesting message the way these are coming out and i don't know I feel like there was a couple different messages here, Virgo, and I just feel like you as a single person, um, you know, whether you have somebody that you're in separation from or whether you are like no one that you're bouncing off of and you're just completely on your own, there's still lessons here. The same message is still here. And I feel like if, if you've been in separation with someone, I feel like whoever you've been in separation with is coming to terms with a lot of things as well within themselves in regards to what caused the separation between you and they um if they walked away um was it a good idea i feel like there's a lot of realizations coming up here for two people okay um where this is all a divine timing kind of thing and you are exactly where you're supposed to be right now and you and uh, as a single person or in separation from someone everything was put on halt everything was just stopped it feels like in order to come to terms to let the fog lift um to be able to see things clearly about that inner reflection right you taking a look at yourself somebody else taking a look at themselves um and you making decisions of whether or not you want to move forward or try to have a recommitment to a healthier relationship Th these are things that are all on the table right now as a single person so i i do see a king of swords and i do see a king of wands masculine and feminine energy so if you have a connection to fire or air this is more specifically going to be a reading for you okay um let me see if i can pick up some physical features in regards either you or this person okay we've got someone that has a mustache and also someone who is tall i've never do people still have mustaches i think i saw a guy at the gym with a mustache the other day and it looked like that i was like what's going on there <laughs> We've got someone here with wavy hair. Someone also who has red hair. I know, I know. And someone who also has long hair. I'm probably going to discontinue these physical features, Oracle. I don't know. Do you guys like them? Because I kind of feel sometimes like they're, I don't know. Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> got someone here who's got average height okay 
someone with brown hair. <laughs> I don't know what average height is. Five foot seven? Someone's got a mohawk. Oh, we're not taking all these. And also a gauge. Or they have like a little bit of a goatee on the chin. Okay, we've got someone who wears glasses. And somebody with blonde hair. Okay, red, brown, and blonde. So that could be like all of you. <laughs> I think the majority of people have dark hair. Hazel eyes here. One more, and then I'm going to end out the reading. And someone with straight hair. It's all about the hair. Somebody might be a hairdresser. <laughs> I'm just hearing. Or um, goes and has a lot of different hairstyles or tries a lot of different hairstyles. Um, I also see someone who, hold on, oh, okay, but that mustache, that's a crazy message. I'm picking up um, two people who are the same. Um, they are both in yin energy, very feminine. So you and another person, very feminine energies. And feminine energy is always service. It's always... Um, mysterious it's always a little dark you know versus the yang i just feel like two people who i feel like the the best match is the yin and the yang when they can blend um, because opposites attract so you and your person might not be opposites believe it or not you might be very similar even if you are opposite in what is generally known to be considered opposite you guys might actually be very similar and you come together in your yin energy um, but I feel like we've got either two masculines or two feminine energies. And I feel like um, the feminine energy dominates on both ends of this relationship, which is not a bad thing. It's just that no one's taking the lead. Feminine energy is very passive. Yin energy is very passive Two very passive people. Or one is passive and the other becomes passive and vice versa. The energy is exchanged very passively. Um, which is very strange um, for a king of wands and a king of swords because they would both be very masculine energy, not passive, um, more assertive. So maybe it's you. There's, there's something to do with this relationship that neither one is taking a lead. Neither one is really doing anything. Um, and that's significant. That is significant. Um, there's a lack of two people taking their turn but I also feel like I, it's so strange to see this. Like this is kind of a yin yang. I feel like in both of you, the the assertive energy of yang is definitely trying to mix in. I mean, I listen. Yin energy is very beautiful, but there there's a time to rest, and then there's a time to be active, and both people have to kind of take turns in that area to some degree. All right, this was a very off the cuff, very strange singles reading. I don't know if it's going to make any sense to anybody. I don't know who I'm talking to here about this, but I definitely feel like there is some learning lessons and a lot of different messages in this. So I'm going to leave it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to leave it. Whatever works for you. If you got anything out of this, that's awesome. Great. I hope it gives you some insight or enlightened you in some way. And I'm going to leave it there and I will see you guys back here tomorrow for your um, regular one hour readings. All right. Take care. Bye.